Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see some more details about this GitHub branches. For example, say you are working with some development team, so you are working with multiple developers. So, for example, say that you have multiple branches in the GitHub that are not present in your local repository. So, then what will happen? For example, let's see it. Let's see it in the practical way. So, I am creating a new repository, something like Git hyphen branches. Okay. So in this git hyphen branches, I am creating a readme file so that you will have a main branch as the default. And what I will try to do is, so this is the default branch. You will be able to see that this is the default branch. Now what I will do is here in this one only, I will create a branch something like branch one. So I am creating a branch from main. So now branch one has been created, create branch. So I am creating a branch one, let it create. So branch one has been created. Now again, I will go to the main. And I will create another branch. So I will create a, some multiple couple of branches. So let's think. So let's see. So already the branches are existing in this, what we can say in this repository. So I am creating another one, something like uh, branch three. Let's assume that we are having three three branches. So these are the branches. So now this repository has the three branches. Git hyphen branches is the project, and in this repository we are having three branch, four branches, including the main. Main is the default branch, branch 1, branch 2, branch 3. Now this project, okay, so this project, we doesn't have anything. We, we doesn't have the repository in our local machine. Let's clone the project. So now I am taking this one all. Now I am cloning this project. So let's go to the here. Clear out all these things. Okay, so let's see git status. I am in a repo. So let's go back side. Okay, so now. Let's check the status. So we should not be in a repo. Now it is not a repository. Now here let to git clone and paste the. Oh sorry again I did the mistake I think. So git clone and where is this one? Yeah, copy and here let's paste git clone and paste it. Yeah. So let's press enter. So now it is cloning. Git branches is being cloning. Now if you try to see. So now what you will be able to see here, we are having actually the four, four branches we are having including the main branch. Now right now what in which branch we are. So let's go to the git hyphen branches. So now in which branch here we are in the main branch, in the default we are in the main branch. So now let's try to see the branches list. So what are the branches list we are having. So now we are having only the main branch only. But in the github we are able to see that we are having four branches something like branch 1, branch 2, branch 3, something like that we are having. But here we are able to see only the main branch only. So now sometimes, now what we need to do, I need to work in the branch 1. Okay, I need to work in the branch 1. In the branch 1, I need to commit a file, something like that. So what can I do here? So But here, I am here in the, what I can say in the main branch. Uh, it, we are able to see only the one branch only. So that means whenever you try to clone any repository, so whenever you are trying to clone any repository, the default what the it will do is it will clone only the default branch. So whatever the default branch you are having here. So whatever the default branch you are having here. So main is the default branch, right? So this main branch only will be cloned into your local repositories. These all branches will not be cloned. So now if you want to know about these clones means, so how can I keep track of this one? So if I want to work in any other branch means other than main, what can I do? So here what we can do is, so we know that we have a command that git branch hyphen r. So that means it will give you the list of remote branches that the branches that are present in the remote. If you press enter, you will be able to see that origin branch 1, branch 2, branch 3 and main. So these are all the branches that are present in the remote, not in your local machine. In your local machine, you have only the branch only. Okay. So if you want to go to this branch, means you can go directly git checkout origin slash branch 1. So if you go here, you can be able to go to the branch, particular branch and you will be able to see. Okay. So now, you got, but you are in the detached rate state. So let's go back. Okay. So now if you try to check the status here. So if you check the status, sorry. So if you, if you try to check the, check the status. So we are on the branch main and the branch main is up to date with the origin main. So that means the main branch which is in our local. So it is in sync with the origin main. So that is it is internally connected with the origin main. So I haven't connected this one. So it has connected by itself. 
So that means in the same scenario, we need to contain a branch 1 in our local that should be internally connected with the origin slash branch 1. So, so for example, if you try to check branch R, so we need to have in the similar way how we are having the main branch, we need to have a branch 1 in our local so that it should be internally connected with this origin branch 1, right. So how can we do this one? So luckily what we can have is, so we have the switch command so that we can do so if you type git branch hyphen r so we are having the branch one right so what it will try to do so for example if you try to do git switch something like uh, some gibberish if i try to find it is telling that invalid reference plant something like that it is saying that there is no branch available with this name so for example if i try to switch git switch leela so it is telling that leela so that is there is no branch available with the name Leela. So there is no local branch available with the name Leela it is saying. So now if you try to check unfortunately what will happen is. So if you try to do git switch branch 1 which is already present as a remote branch. So if you try to do git switch branch 1 what it will try to do. So here what has happened. So now switch it to a new branch that means a new branch has been created and it is switched to a new branch branch 1. And also what it has did, so it has also branch 1 has set to track with the remote branch, branch 1. So that means this local branch 1 has been set track with the connected with the origin branch 1 it is saying. So that means what the git switch will do, git switch branch 1 when you are trying to switch back, switch to the branch 1, it is checking that it will first it will check that whether any local branch is present in the, with the branch 1 or not. If it is not present means then it will check with the remotes whether any remote branch with the name branch 1 is present or not. Yeah, it is present. So then what it will try to do? It will try to create a new branch and also it will try to set a connection between the origin branch 1 and also a, and also the branch with the branch 1. Now if you try to check the git status. So now it is on branch branch 1. We are in the branch 1 branch and branch is up to date with the origin branch 1. See? And it has already established a connection between the origin branch 1 and here is the origin branch 1. Okay. So previously with the git checkout how we need to do is so we need to do hyphen hyphen track something like that. But here git switch we can be using this git switch we can directly have the connection between these two things. Hope you understood about this one. So now in order so what we can do is so for example if you try to do git branch now you are having two branches main and the branch 1. So, but in the remote you are whatever you are having so hyphen r so you are having branch 1 branch 2 branch 3 like this. So, if you want to switch to the branch 3 means you can directly switch to the branch 3 so that automatically a local branch will be created and then connection will be established to the branch 3. So, if I try to check the branch so now branch 3 has been created. So, this is how the branches thing appears. So, whenever you are cloning a repository from the github or any any uh, outside means hosted service means so only the default branch will be clone first and uh, and you will be having the remote branches set you can be able to see those remote branches using the command git branch hyphen r and if you want to switch means you can do git switch directly the branch name so automatically it will create a new local branch and also it will set the connection between the origin and the local branch hope you understood about this branches concept in the remote branches and the local branches how we how that what is the difference between them how to switch how to switch between the branches so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.